Hey, there's one ingredient in particular that really slows down the aging process, and that ingredient is mushrooms. And today, we're gonna cook with mushrooms. So let's get cooking. First, I'm gonna roast these mushrooms because they take a little longer to cook than the filling. The filling that goes inside is gonna be cooked already. So in the end, I need the mushrooms to also be cooked so that everything's done at the same time, the mushrooms and the filling. So I just have to pick out, take out the stem. There you go. Hey, don't throw these away. They're good for something. They're good for a stir fry. They're good for a stuffing. They're nice mushroom flavor. They're just a little bit fibrous and a little bit tough uh, compared to the mushroom caps, but they're good to use. Now these caps, I'm just going to give them a spray with oil so they won't burn the oven. And then a little sprinkle of salt, maybe a half a teaspoon. Okay, just a little bit of salt, just so that they're going to have some flavor. I like to roast them with the cavity up, so they don't, it, they tend not to flatten out so much when I do that. Then inside a 400 degree oven, 20 minutes. In this pan, I have one tablespoon of olive oil and one clove of garlic minced. I have it on medium heat, and I'm going to wait until the oil gets a little bit hot and you see a little bit of bubbles around the minced garlic. So the garlic is starting to cook. Okay, you see the garlic is starting to sizzle? I don't want to brown it because that's going to create a kind of a bitter taste. What I do want to do is add 8 ounces of fresh spinach. This is baby spinach. Look at that. Delicious. Okay. It may seem like a lot of spinach is going to fill up this pan. But in just a minute, you'll see why I put so much spinach in there because it's going, spinach is mostly water and this is going to cook down and there's going to be very little left of it. I'm also going to add about a half a teaspoon of salt. There you go. And there's one more flavor we're going to put into this spinach, which really makes this whole dish. It really does. And that is Pernod. Okay, this is a French alcohol and it tastes a lot like anisette or anise um, or licorice. Okay, I add a little bit. A little goes a long way. This is very potent stuff. So I'm going to add about a teaspoon, teaspoon and a half. That's it. The, the spinach smells great. It's starting to wilt. Once it really starts to wilt, I'm going to add that teaspoon and a half of Perno. Woo! I smell that already. Just keep stirring until it's all wilted. It's just wilted, and then take it out. That's it. Remember how much we started with? We don't have too much left over here. Well, I'll just cool that off on the side. And what I want to do with this pan is add another about two tablespoons of olive oil, another clove of minced garlic. Then we're going to make the topping. Once the garlic starts to sizzle, cut it off. This pan will retain its heat a little bit. So it starts to sizzle, turn it off, because you don't want it to overcook, you don't want it to turn brown. And the pan is still hot, you see it's still sizzling, so be careful. Once it starts to sizzle, shut it off. If you have a pan that's really very thin, it doesn't hold the heat too much, then you can cook a little longer. But this pan is thick, it's going to hold the heat. Look, it's still sizzling, okay? So once it starts to sizzle, shut it off. Now, we have to add some breadcrumbs. The breadcrumbs I use is panko, and they're seasoned, okay? Panko seasoned breadcrumbs. What these are, 
They're a little bit more coarse. You can see that they're a little bit more coarse than a regular breadcrumb. It's nice to make a topping out of it. So I add about a quarter of a cup and then I toss it around. And the oil is going to coat the breadcrumbs. These look really good and they're nice and coated with oil so that they're not going to burn. And I'm going to use this on top of the stuffed mushroom to give it that nice crust and nice browning. I have this mixture and I just want to add one more thing to it and that is I want to add about two tablespoons of nutritional yeast. There you go. Nutritional yeast, that's going to give it a Parmesan cheese type of flavor without the cheese. And that's the topping. So we set that aside until the mushrooms are ready. It's been 20 minutes and I do believe the mushrooms are ready. Can you see, can you see how much water's in these? Look at this. Okay, a lot of water. Mushrooms have a lot of water. That's why you need to pre-cook them, get them cooked, and also get some of that water out. It's also going to intensify the flavor, and that's good for us. I'm going to stuff each mushroom with sautéed spinach. And then I'm going to take a, about a teaspoon of the, of the, of that crumb topping and put it right on top like that. And there you go. Hey, I turned the oven up to 425 degrees to get the top nice and brown. And I'm putting these right inside. It's going to take about five minutes. And it's going to be delicious. Hey, I wish I had smell of vision here because this kitchen smells awesome. And this is why. Ooh, check those out. Nice and brown on top. Smells fantastic. The garlic with the pernod. Wow, what a combination. Hey, check these out. Absolutely delicious. You're going to love them. And if you love mushroom, you got to check out my mushroom barley soup. For a cold winter's day, it's beautiful. And it's light enough for even a summer's day. Check it out, and I'll see you there.